In this demonstration, we'll see how an EMC Viper ties into EMC Watch for Net. Here I'm going to log in as administrator of this environment. And as you can see here, we have our report pack for EMC Viper. The dashboard of this report pack gives you a wealth of information, everything from, you know, how your virtual storage arrays are, are doing, how your virtual storage pools are doing, uh, the types of services you may be offering, as well as tenants that may be part of your EMC Viper environment. So remember, Viper and WatchFrenet are built to be uh, supportive of multi-tenancy. So we can actually create separate dashboards for each tenant that may be part of EMC Viper. So let's drill into one of the tenants. This is Virtucom Inc. And this is the tenant dashboard. This tenant dashboard could actually be given to one of the tenant administrators and they can quickly and easily see how their storage may be performing uh, in terms of uh, any errors or capacity utilization. We can also tie this into performance as well. By drilling into the engineering project, we can exactly see how many resources are being leveraged for this project. Uh, remember, these are projects that are tied from EMC Viper. A project could also be leveraging storage from multiple virtual storage pools and even multiple virtual storage arrays spread across long distance. When we drill into one of these resources, we can see exactly how that resource is doing, how much capacity it's using, where it may be coming from, also any uh, associated relationships. As you can see here, it's related to a data store presented to a VM or vSphere environment. Let's go back to the tenant dashboard and see what else we can do. I can also take a look at capacity forecasting. So I can very quickly and easy, easily see as a tenant based on how much capacity has been consumed over the past uh, uh, period of time, I can see exactly uh, how much estimated storage will be consumed over the next 30 days. Going back to the main tenant dashboard, I also have the ability to uh, view my project. Uh, so looking at a project overview, if I have multiple projects, I can see exactly how, much, uh, how many resources are allocated to per project, uh, how much capacity is being consumed and allocated per project very quickly and easily as well. Within advanced views, I also have the ability to view uh, uh, chargeback or showback information based on how much storage is being consumed. So here I can see very quickly and easily my cost analysis based on storage utilization. So I can see exactly how much co uh, cost this storage is uh, uh, costing me per project. Going back to my main tenant view, I also have the ability to drill into uh, event types. So I can see here, here are all the file systems being created through EMC Viper. So I can uh, very quickly and easily see what projects are tied to, what virtual storage pools are tied to, also what uh, you know physical assets they may be tied to as well, very quickly and easily. Back to the main report pack dashboard, I also have the ability to uh, view forecasting at a complete level. So here you can see all of my virtual storage pools across all of my tenants, uh, and I can see exactly how much storage is being used and what the forecast is. But say I wanted to know exactly how much storage is being used and what the forecast is for all my symmetrics based arrays. Well, I can very easily type in symmetrics and uh, filter out all of my arrays just to see my symmetrics arrays. I can cancel out that filter and go back to the full report. The heat map within WatchFrenet also makes it very easily to uh, easy to state, you know, how are things running, right? You know, if something glaring uh, red on the right of the screen, it's going to grab my eye. So I can see here that I do have a storage pool uh, utilization issue for my high performance file within the fan, uh, San Francisco virtual storage array. But let's uh, drill into San Jose high performance pool and we can very easily see you know, what type of subscription rate we're, we're looking at, how much is being utilized, what the pool capacity is, how many tenants may be leveraging uh, this specific pool and virtual storage array, what the forecasting is for that, and you know, watch for net also makes it very easy for me to you know uh, view this information over the past couple weeks 
so I can change the date information. I also have the ability to uh, schedule these reports as well. So I can have this specific report that I've just you know, auto-created uh, scheduled to run on a daily, nightly, uh, you know, weekly, monthly basis and have it even emailed to me as an Excel spreadsheet uh, or you know, Adobe PDF.